everyone, welcome to Watercolor Wednesday. I am Bonnie Krebs, creator of Watercolor the Art Impressions Way. And this week's project is a little beach scene. So I'm gonna show you how to put together this little row of beach houses. This is actually just one stamp. So we're gonna create this whole image just using one stamp. Uh, super fun. We are gonna use lots of markers. So I will, um, I'll let you know what those markers are as we go. Okay, so let's get going. Uh, we're gonna put together this little beach cabin. We're gonna need this uh, this set. So this is, um, let me show you which one this is. This is number 4606, this is Cottage by the Beach. And we're just gonna use this little cottage here, but only this section. So we're not gonna put this little lean-to on it. We're just gonna use this basic uh, image of the cottage right here. Okay, so let's get going on that. You can see that these are multicolored, so we're gonna start with sepia. We're gonna color the, um, we're gonna ink the basic image with the sepia, and then just the just the main part of the stamp here. So not that little lean-to uh, section. We're not gonna to need to ink that at all. So you can either ink this whole thing and just kind of rub that off, or you can just carefully leave it off just like this. And then we're gonna start over to the side over here to make sure we have enough space to add all three of these little cabins on here. So I've created a mask uh, because I don't wanna stamp over the top. So I've just stamped this image on a little post-it note so that I can cover uh, my cabin. And I'm going to ink it again. So this is the sepia again. So I'm gonna ink this up again, the whole thing. And I'm going to uh, stamp it on my positioner. So I wanna make sure that I get these in the right place, that they're in a row. And so I'm just gonna stamp it on the positioner first, and then I can line it up so I can see exactly where this is gonna go. And I want to overlap this line right here. So I wanna look like, I want this to look like they're kinda of tucked behind each other. So I don't want that line right here to show. So that's about perfect right there. So now we're gonna ink this again. And that's with the sepia. I'm gonna ink this one more time. And place it right inside this little corner. And I can stamp it right here. So now I'm just gonna move this over here and kind of repeat that same thing again. So now I'm gonna put this little house down here, make sure that that's covered. And place my positioner there. So now I just need to re-ink this. And just the part without the, the lean to, so just the basic little cabin. Okay, there we go. So we've got our little row of houses. It's really fun to put this in a um, little beach setting, but there's other ways that you can do it too. In fact, let me just show you. I just I just did this one too. Um, and you can see just by changing the color, color palette, if you look at the difference here between the two, you can see I've used the really bright colors, made this really beachy. And this here is kind of set back maybe by a lake. Um, more in the trees. I've added the grasses here and the little flowers. So really easy. Just by changing your color palette, you can change the whole look of this. So fun to do. Okay, so let's move on. And we're going to start out by pulling the color out of the lines as always. That's always the starting point. So dip your brush in water, pinch it off, and just pull this color out of the lines. This is how every project starts. Uh, it's always nice to have a starting point because then there's no confusion about what to do first. And I don't know why a white sheet of paper can be very intimidating. Just not knowing where to start. So in here along this overhang, you can see that's gonna be really dark. Underneath here, it's gonna be dark. Uh, inside the little doors. And we just have to get just the basic areas right here. We're gonna add lots of color to this. So we're gonna be doing lots more of this. Okay, let's pull this color now over from the roof. And you can see that we're gonna, you know, this back in here is the darkest point. So we're gonna drag this color forward. Just pull this from the back and drag it forward because this is, this is our highlighted area here. So we're gonna start where that color is the darkest and that would be in the back. Okay, that looks pretty good there. We are ready to move on to the next step and that will be to add some color and we're gonna add lots of color. So we want these little cabins to be really bright. So let's add some bright colors. This is number 43. 
This is Brilliant Yellow, one of my favorites. This is 89 Persimmon. This is a really, really bright red. Uh, this is number 101. I love this bright tropical color. We're gonna use this color on the water as well. Uh, let's see what else we need. How about uh, we need some African Violet. That would be this cool blue. And our sand color. This is a number six brown and a number 30 uh, rosewood. So we've got lots of color going on in our palette. So let's get going here and adding some color to this little structure. So let's start with the lightest color and that would be the yellow. So we're gonna take some of this color off of here and add it to our little structure. So dip your brush in water and uh, pinch it off and then just, just brush this color on. Kind of stay away from the darker, um, that sepia color. We don't want that to bleed in here too much. So just kind of brush this on just like this. We wanna put some over here on the side as well. And we're gonna kind of complete this little um, side back here a little later on. So we'll be sure to finish that. Okay, we can put another coat on here like this. And we could take some of that yellow and actually mix it in here a little bit and brush some of this color onto the door. You can see we've got a little bit of an orange going on here. That's the cool thing about a palette is that you can you can mix the colors that you don't have. Let's take some of this red now and brush this on up here. You can see how bright that is. Love that bright red. And when you think about these little row houses at the beach, I always think about bright colors, reds and yellows, blues. Love it. Let's move some of this color over here to the door. Make this really bright. And clean up our brush. And let's move on to another color. So here's that number 101. Let's see how bright this color is. Love it. And you can see I'm kind of staying away from that, that sepia color. So I'm just brushing this in kind of, you know, away from all of that. And let's, let's add some over here too. You can, you can add whatever colors you want in here and you can um, mix them, mix and match however you want to. Uh, pick your color palette and then kind of repeat those colors throughout. So you can see I've used the red here in a couple of places. I've used the, the turquoise again in a couple of places. So you want to kind of repeat those. Um, so that you get a little uh, uniformity to it here. This is the African Violet now. Adding some of this color in here. And we can use that, uh, that same color in uh, for the windows too. So let's put it in the door here and then take a little bit of this color and brush in some detail here to the windows. This does not have to be perfect. So you're just remember the idea of things. So we're giving the idea that we have these little window panes. And we can change this one, make it a little different. Maybe make it look like there's a little uh, curtain back there. Um, these little ones, we can maybe show that there's a shade, a shade drawn. Maybe this one's open. So you can switch these out a little bit and make them look a little different, even though it's the same stamp. Super easy to do and so fun. And you can, when you go back over it again, it's gonna darken that color. So if you like that darker, vibrant color, just go over it again and just add another, make another pass and just go over it one more time. The more times that you go over it, the darker it's gonna, it's gonna be. Especially in here where these windows are. These would be, are gonna be really dark inside here. this and let's just add a little detail now to that um, to this little cabin here just some little lines these little things really add a lot looks pretty good let's add some more of this yellow on here and get this really really uh, saturated here really bright color And the red, you can see how that just adds a lot. And here 
as well. And our, our little orange door, perfect. And let's take some of this, um, let's take some uh, sepia now. Let's add a little bit of this color. Whoops, that's not sepia. Let's take some sepia. And add a little more color to the roof. Just brush a little bit on. Uh, you know, these little cabins, you know, they're on the beach. So I always think that, you know, the roofs are probably a little washed out. So, and bleached out by the sun. So I don't, they don't necessarily have to be really, really dark. It's kind of up to you too. Okay, that looks good. I'm gonna pull some of this color out. Uh, I'm gonna leave this cabin white, but I don't want it too white. I want it to look a little weathered. So I'm gonna pull some of that color out underneath here. You can see this is all starting to come together. So cute. And let's put a little detail on this one too. Just like that. You can see how much that adds. Love it. We might as well do that with the red as well. So let's take some of this and add some of this detail in too. Okay, that looks good. And I'm going to take a little of this warm brown and mix it a little bit into the yellow so that I can get a little darker uh, image over here on the side. This, this part is going to be in the shadow, so this is going to be a little darker. I might actually even add a little blue. This is the African violet, so we can add a little blue shadow in here as well. Don't be afraid to try this. You know, adding extra color, it's really fun to do. It's not scary. Okay, that looks pretty good. We're ready to go on to the next step. And let's take our uh, brush and just, just put a line underneath uh, these little cabins. So just like this, and you can see we've kind of created a little shadow under there. Um, we're going to add a little blue to that. So just like this. And then we'll add our sand color uh, around it. So just brush the sand on now. This is the number 30. And we're just brushing this on really, really light. And put a little bit back here. Just like this. So easy, don't overthink this at all. This is not hard to do. Don't overthink it. And let's brush in the water now. So we're gonna mix uh, this tropical. I'm gonna add some more color to it here. And I'm gonna mix some green in it. It's a little bright as far as the, the blue goes for tropical water. Uh, so if we mix a little green in here, we get a much truer color for the water. So we're gonna really make sure we have enough water on there. And we're just gonna brush this in behind. Keep your, keep your hands straight and just kind of brush this color in behind. Just like this. So easy. And you can see we've got our little beach scene in the back. That looks good. And let's put some water, or uh, excuse me, let's put some uh, sky in. So we want a really warm sky. This is the number 17. So that's the steel blue. And let's take some of this color now and really uh, add that blue sky in. That just kind of goes along with the bright colors and the ocean is this really vibrant blue sky. No clouds. Just bright blue sky. That looks pretty good. Let's just add a little dark line back there. And I'm gonna put a little dark uh, color right along the sand line here. Just a little bit. Okay, so on the original, you can see that there's a little beach ball. So I put this little beach ball in. This is really fun to do, and you guys can do this. So um, we're gonna hand draw this in. It's not gonna be scary. And we're just gonna use a nickel. So use a nickel. I'm also using a number 40 brownish gray, the fine tip. And I'm just gonna trace around this. So just, this doesn't have to be perfect. So just trace around this little, um, this little nickel until you have a circle, just like that. And then dip your brush, pinch it off, and pull this color out so we're gonna soften this line. 
We're gonna make this really, really soft. Okay, so just like that. And then take that little, um, the fine tip of that, of that marker, and we're gonna make a little circle here in the middle. And try not to put it like right in the middle. So we leave a little interest and put it maybe up in the, a little uh, farther towards the corner. And then uh, take your marker now, and you're gonna, you're gonna make a line like right through the center. So just like this. And put a, just a little bend in it, just a little bend. And do the same over here. And just put a little bend in that one as well. And then come back over here and divide up these sections in half. Just like that, so easy. And then it's just a matter of adding some color to that which we know how to do. And you can put any color you want on this. It's so fun. Just add the color on just like this from your palette. How about some bright yellow? Just like this. And when you're finished, uh, we're gonna put a little uh, shadow line on there. And I'll show you how to do that. Let's put a little red center in here, really brighten that little ball up. So take a little of the African violet, just a little bit. Make sure this is really dry. And we're just gonna put a little uh, swish, just right along the edge, just like that. And that's gonna give us that little rounded, um, that little rounded look. And then let's take some of the sand so this is the number 30 again. And we're gonna brush a little sand around it. Just the idea of it, remember, this is just the idea of things. Don't stress out about this. Pull some of this color over. And then let's put a little shadow uh, back here. And you can take your, um, you can take the fine tip of your little brown and add a few little dots in here. Super cute. Let's do another detail here. So you can put, um, let's use the sepia. So the fine tip of the sepia. Let's put some little flags on here. They're also really fun to do. So just a little, like a little wavy triangle. This is not hard to do. And then add some color to those. Really, really fun. And you can pick any bright color that you want on here. The brighter, the better. And how about some blue? Okay, that looks pretty good. We are about done with our little uh, row houses. Uh, the last thing that we need to do is sign and date. Sign it, date it, put it on a card, give it away. Oh, one more thing, one more thing. I said we were gonna finish this little row house and I can see here that I did not do that. So add that line down and across, just like that. Add another little one of these little um, feet, I guess, what would you call these? And put these back in here. Okay, and we now are really finished. Sign it and give it away. And thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week.